on Sumo Lings. Thank you so much for joining us for another product walkthrough webinar. I am Lindsay, and today I am joined by the team over at QPage. QPage is a recruiting platform that leverages data to help you source, assess, and hire the best candidates. It is on AppSumo, right starting at $59 for a lifetime deal. Um, before we dive into the walkthrough though, I just wanna tell y'all a few quick things. Uh, the first is that if you wanna tell us a little bit about your use case, you can go ahead and leave that in the chat room. We love to hear it. Um, and I was actually talking to the founder earlier about uh, how the use cases have been really informative and help them kind of with their roadmap. So we'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, the next thing that I wanna tell y'all is that you can put your questions in the Q and A box. Uh, we are going to circle back to those at the end of the walkthrough. We were supposed to have somebody here on standby uh, to answer those questions as they came in, but they're kind of developing, you know, some new parts of this product for you. So like, they're not here today. So sorry about that. <laughs> and uh, the last thing is that there will be a replay of this available. So if you want to watch this later, if you need to step out, you totally can. It's no big deal. All right. That is enough of me. Hello. Hey, Puya, how are you doing? Oh, hello. Good morning to you, Lindsay. Uh, uh, thanks for having me. Thanks for the chances. It is great to have you. I'm going to go ahead and pass this over to you for the walkthrough. Um, let me know when you're ready for questions. Sure, sure. Let's, let's do it. Okay, shall we start, right? Uh, hello, Sumo Links. Uh, thanks for having us. Thanks actually for, for uh, accepting uh, Cupid's deal. Uh, uh, let me actually start by introducing myself. I'm, I'm Puya. I'm uh, one of the co-founders uh, by Cupid. And Cupid actually, basically, that was a thing. We already had it uh, within a few corporates, internationals, and then startups we co-founded uh, previously. And that was actually whenever we wanted to uh, hire or uh, uh, find actually a proper uh, candidate that was uh, too costly and that was uh, uh, pretty hard to find the right one. Uh, uh, we use actually a lot of platforms and, and uh, whenever actually we use a CRM or ATS, we had to uh, uh, integrate it with the, a lot of different uh, 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 platforms and, and, and just uh, try to make one, one queue and one uh, proper uh, workflow. Uh, and, and another point was that uh, uh, within actually we, we try to uh, uh, develop the CRM and ATS. We just find it out from the, the, the customers. Probably sourcing uh, and, and, and social recruiting is the niche uh, we can actually uh, move into it, which is a new category in the industry. Uh, Cupid actually is the startup uh, by nature, by heart, and, and, and uh, by the time as well. So we are uh, trying to build really fast, uh, bringing up uh, uh, new features, but the industry and the vertical is, is, uh, uh, is something actually, uh, 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 you cannot actually compare it with the, like uh, uh, any other platform in any other verticals. Uh, if you go uh, uh, and name it with the like, uh, uh, even the cell CRMs, even actually like uh, 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 Kanban uh, uh, softwares, uh, uh, it's really complex, and I can actually tell you so far we coded more than 300,000 uh, line of codes, and, and I can tell you that is just the beginning. Uh, so uh, that was enough, I think, from the chit-chatting from myself. I wanted uh, to just start by uh, uh, sharing my screen. Okay. Uh, so here actually is the home page. Let me this one as well. So here actually is like a uh, homepage. Uh, 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 so you have uh, uh, plenty of uh, different information, your dashboard, those ones that they are uh, uh, really important uh, for your uh, recruiting uh, 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 funnels. Uh, the one actually in here is that like uh, reports, uh, including uh, the candidates in your pipeline, the assessments and, and the time to hire, and you can actually change the time frame. In here, so I do actually like a snap in here to just uh, uh, get to uh, uh, those questions probably raised. I think that is actually a great learning point for us as well. Uh, so here actually hey, is like yeah, uh, it's it sounds like the sound is kind of breaking up. I think that's what the raised hand was about. Uh, I'm not sure if there's like something on the mic or so. It, yeah, is the audio bad? I think the audio is like kind of breaking up. Talk to us. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know actually, 
Nope, yeah, now it sounds perfect. Good. Great. Um, sure. <laughs> sure. Keep going. You're doing great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, uh, so here in the dashboard, uh, you can see a lot of information. Uh, those are the candidates pipeline. Uh, that is your convergent funnel. How many candidates probably came into your pipeline, and how was uh, 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 your convergent funnel here? Another thing here is that here is your profile. Here is the any work space if you have been added. So there is no any limitation on having or add up new uh, uh, work spaces. And Sorry, the it's good doing thing, it's doing it again, but it's. Hang on, go go start going again. Sure. Uh, how's how's the sound situation? See, it sounds it sounds fine when I'm here. I'm just gonna hang out here. Yeah, sure. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Uh, so just let me know if if just I have to repeat in any part of it. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you want to go back through that, because um, I don't. I I think as soon as I came back off it it started to break up again i i don't know the time oh, yeah it. jj says sure. start again cool sure. <laughs> thank you <laughs> sure sure uh, so here is your dashboard and uh and um, you can see actually like uh plenty of uh, uh essential information for your recruiting funnel that could be uh from the your candidates in your uh the number of the candidates in your pipeline the assessments and time to hire and the foremost, uh, the convergent funnel, how many candidates you have in your funnel and how much uh, probably uh, was hired. And at the bottom, actually, you can see, uh, 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 you can see the candidates in your uh, funnel. I don't want it actually to get rid of that by closing in here because I wanted actually to talk over that. But here is like uh, the aggregation of your uh, pipelines in here as well. Uh, you can call in here an announcement board. So if you are a company and you have, uh, uh, you want it actually to go uh, uh, on the mode that uh, you don't want to advertise a job uh, for the externals, I mean, like print it out in your career page, but you want it actually to give the opportunity for your employees and, and you invite the employees in, in your work space in here so they can actually find uh, the, uh, the chances and opportunities in here and apply for. Uh, here, you, you can actually have uh, as many as work spaces in here. And the good news is that with the help of the app Sumo, during the weekend, we learned uh, uh, from uh, uh, Sumo links that they need actually uh, 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 to add up uh, more work space. So we just bring it up. Uh, now it's just launched on the app Sumo page. And uh, that is pretty uh, easy uh, when you just uh, 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 open up and sign up for the, uh, your first uh, uh, work space. You can uh, go and add new company in here. Add it and, and just uh, uh, stack the absolute coding here and start. So that would be okay. All right. Uh, so you have your inbox in here. Uh, any uh, emails uh, you will see also in here. You can go with the show all. You can uh, see your notification. And by the way, uh, we also launched uh, just like uh, two days ago, uh, sending matches, uh, messages and emails to outside of the workspace. So uh, uh, if actually there is uh, a none or there is no any candidates in here, but you wanted actually to send an email to, to someone which is not in your work workspace, uh, whatever as a candidate, whatever as a partner or anything. So you just, you can actually write down an email and then send a message and then uh, 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 try to send it out. Uh, uh, another point is that the reply back and probably uh, the SMTP integration and then probably Gmail integration are a part of the integration as well in the future, but we will actually get into it on the, uh, on the roadmap. Uh, but here right now you have actually like uh, the sending part, uh, which is uh, amazing here. Notification, so you can go to new notification part, by just tapping on the gear on the right part, they can decide whether you, can, you want it actually to get the notification on the email or on app and save it and then uh, good to go. So enough from the dashboard. So let's go actually with the company profile. Uh, so when you wanted actually to set up your company profile, your career page, you can go in here. You can actually like uh, 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 just select a font and, and, and go with the like the size, anything you wanted actually to add up. And then here is the, your 
carrier page setting. And here is the address to the carrier page. Just bear with me because uh, I'm just uh, streaming right now. So that's why uh, the bandwidth is just fully going to the, the streaming part. So here uh, you can go with the uh, 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 putting your hex color or just choose it from the color picking here, uh, primary colors, secondary colors, uh, uh, photos, uh, descriptions, any size. Uh, the fonts you wanted actually to choose, bring up a gallery in here and then and, and, uh, contact point or social media or anything. I know there, uh, there have been a lot of question about that, whether actually we can go with the different terms. Uh, 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 we got actually, and we listen to you, we will actually work on it to bring new terms, uh, probably two or uh, three more and later uh, on, we can actually make it like a VIX, uh, so you can um, uh, like drag and drop each part uh, by yourself. Uh, but for now, that is actually like uh, the carrier page. And when you print actually any jobs, it just directly come in here. Uh, another actually question uh, uh, I want to actually to tackle on in here is that, uh, uh, the ability actually to uh, change it to the job boards rather than to be a carrier page because we got it actually a lot of question around that in the app summer page. Uh, uh, well, the answer to that is that we are just uh, started the investigation and, and try to see the benchmarks, best practices, whether we can uh, uh, bring up such a kind of the uh, feature. Uh, the answer actually is unclear right now, but uh, we try to do it. Uh, uh, might be actually that could be like an option for the uh, 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 for the uh, uh, those multi uh, work space, but I, I'm not sure actually about that. So I, I wanted actually to to just uh, uh, leave it in blank. But that is something we are uh, 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 on the radar, so we will think about it. All right. So let's go to the people module where you can add up your, your employees or your people. And why is that? Because you want it actually, if you do so, uh, firstly, there is no any limitation in here. And the secondly is that, uh, so you can make a collaborative recruiting. Uh, pretty easy, you can go with the adding a colleague in here, just uh, one by one, drop uh, a CV in here, and that is optional by the way. Uh, so you can actually write down those information and add up simply, or you can go with the batch upload or just uh, drop a lot of PDFs in here. And then uh, uh, people, when, when they just got the invitation, they can go to see their own profile. So they can actually edit their own profile. You can edit the tags. You can uh, bring up uh, uh, different information, uh, uh, summary, any profile if they wanted to share with the others, uh, resume, uh, skills. Uh, so let's just uh, see one uh, profile. I just made it up for myself. So you can see the tag, the social media, any information. And by the way, if you want to actually to send an email to even like uh, a peer or a colleague, you can just send a message in here directly or you can set events in here as well, uh, pretty easy. And then uh, one thing you can do in here is that you can add them as an interviewer to any job. So basically when you add up the people in here, uh, you can choose uh, what would be the access control. So it could be either to be admin, employer, partner, which is a guest, so if you choose actually to be the admin, they have the access to the, uh, the whole workspace. But if uh, 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 they are not invited as a part of uh, uh, an interview in, a, in, in, a, in, in a, like a pipeline, they don't get the notification and messages and, and they cannot leave the escort, but they can see it as well. Uh, employees, employees actually, uh, they only can see the main dashboard, the uh, other uh, employees uh, profile, and if actually they got assigned as an interview or any pipeline, they can access to that pipeline, that's all. And the guests, 
they only actually can have the access to the uh, to the pipeline itself. Um, so all right, probably one of the use cases for the partner could be uh, because I got uh, a lot of uh, 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 requests for the agency, so they can actually use uh, the guest, which is the partner module in here, uh, and give uh, uh, or probably grant an access uh, to the employers or clients. And then let's go to the, uh, the candidates pool. So you can add up as, as many as candidates you want. And one of the actually like uh, 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 future plan, which, which uh, uh, will be released very, very soon, is that a version two of the candidate pool where you can actually make a cohorts. And based on the cohorts, you can actually automate the workflow. Like imagine actually if uh, uh, somebody, uh, like they got the birthday, an email or message uh, messages actually just get triggered or anything like that. If they didn't open up an email, do uh, such kind of thing. So it, it's like that would be like a scenario planning and brief campaigning. Um, so wait for it, that would be an amazing one. Uh, but although in here you have a, a great actually candidate pool, you can go with the add, add the candidates by, by bulk, one by one, simply. And then you can uh, also add them to a job. So let's go to the like the main part and the most important part of the uh, Q page, which is the job. Uh, so when you wanted to start publishing a job, let's start with the cat, uh, creating a job in here. You can do it probably with a few just clicks. I think I have to change my internet for a while. It's just killing me. Yeah, you know, it happens. I'm I'm dealing with the struggle as well. JJ, oh, yeah. I see you raising your hand. You gotta oh he suggests maybe turning off the background. Uh oh, seeing sure. if that might help. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let let me, yeah. Probably that would be good case. Yeah, I called my internet provider yesterday and they said that I can't get a faster speed at all. When I tell you, it was so disappointing. <laughs> so where we can actually find that, uh, what was this, uh, the sitting? Uh, let, let me check it out in here. <laughs> Thanks, JJ. Yeah, sorry, it happens. Are you with me? Video settings, Will says. Y'all are the best. Background slash filter. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to. Yeah, but I cannot like find it in here. So let me stop probably sharing here and then that would be more possible because I did it that time. Sounds right. Sure. And then virtual background and then none. All right, cool. And then again, sharing. Sorry, some links. <laughs> okay, now it's just working, right? Yeah. So now you can actually uh, take the industries, uh, any job you wanted uh, to just go after. For us, front end developer is something always essential. Any department you wanted to choose. And by the way, if you, you didn't see actually a job in here, you can just create by yourself. Uh, you can just go with the like, front and something. And then tap into creating here, and you can see the previous job, uh, uh, the job description is just uh, still in here. So you can use it, you can edit it, and you can go with the uh, alternatives. And another point in here is that the advanced mode. So that's a mission, mission and care, which is a seven layer job description. If you wanted actually to provide more information for the candidates to attract them. Another part, just uh, choosing the location, either to be remote or country. Uh, let's go with the, the greatest country on, on the earth, US, and go with the probably California and the San Francisco probably. Uh, and the employment type,
And uh, uh, the other option in here is that to just keep the annual salary, I have to close this one, and then the number of the people you wanted to hire. In here or in here, save and continue. So here you can actually design uh, uh, an application when you want to actually uh, 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 a candidate uh, 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 fill it out uh, within the application process. You can add up any questions in here. That could be multiple questions, yes, no, descriptive questions, or like, let's go with the yes, no. Do you have good comment in like skill? Or the answer should be yes, or you can actually ask for the references. Uh, anything you want, you, can, you have no, uh, 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 any limitation, you can go with the adding of more question and more. So here you can invite uh, the other folks, other uh, colleagues uh, or even partners or even clients uh, to just join your planning team, uh, give them the access, invite them in here. If they are in your workspace, so you can see the email addresses in here and, and that's all. So we we'll leave it blank in here. Let's go to the hiring flow. So the hiring flow is that you, you can actually change the name, you can delete it, or you can add the steps in here, simply. Name it, and when you name it something, uh, you just uh, can take actually a step type. The nature, is, the, the type in here is that like, uh, what would be the nature nearby? Like, is that like the sourcing? Is that like the screening? Is that like the interviews? Like we can go with the interview round two whatever you choose. And then now you can actually like uh, uh, change uh, the order in here. And the most important part, so assessment and autonomous actions. So here you can choose uh, from the QPitch skills assessments, continue. And when you continue, there is the one button in here. So you have to push on. Uh, and press on it, the next and the set. And when you set it out, now it's just automated. So whenever the candidates arrive on the screening, they will get an email with the assessments. So you don't need to do anything basically anymore about that. You can actually uh, uh, build your own assessments, any questions you wanted to choose. So feel free, feel free about that. All right, so let's go to the other part. Emails. So we can automate the emails of like whatever actually candidate arrived into the offer. I wanted to send like an offer letter or a contract, anything. If you don't have it actually in here, you can add up or edit the templates. And uh, uh, another feature actually probably will soon for the next week will, will come out is that, so uh, we can edit the, the provided templates, the global templates, you can use it for your own self. Probably you can add up uh, attachments and, and, and uh, save the templates for yourself as well. So simple. Another point doing here is that the actions, so uh, let's say actually in the step of the interviewer, you wanted to do something which is like setting up a video interview. So go with the video interview, uh, build up a description in here, uh, whatever you wanted to do. And for the first time, probably you need to do in here, uh, if you use the Calendly, just copy the API key from the Calendly. So we have it in here, just copy in here paste it in here and integrate it. All right, so now you can actually like choose the interviewer. You can see uh, uh, the meetings you have provided with the, like uh, uh, designed it in your uh, 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 Calendly account and uh, who's gonna be like, uh, uh, like a guest. 
And here you can actually define any questions. And by the way, those questions will not show up to the uh, to the candidates. Those are actually like uh, 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 these questions if you wanted to make a standard process within your recruiting process. So let's say why we should hire you or like any indicative actual questions in here. Uh, give us an example of something. Uh, I think I need to just leave it in here. Uh, so you don't need to go to the uh, scheduling anymore. When the candidates arrive to the interview, they will get uh, a link of your Calendly. They can go and pick up uh, a time slot from your calendar and uh, they will show up uh, in, in the interview. And uh, you have plenty of choices. If you're using actually the Calendly, you can integrate it with your Zoom or Google Meet or anything, or you can actually use the QPH uh, uh, video and voice interview as well. Uh, there is the, another option. If you don't actually use the uh, Calendly, you can go with the manual. So just uh, cancel the Calendly part and go with the manual. Uh, uh, that would be easy as well. Another part is that designing a evaluation form. So you can uh, have any evaluation in here. Anything probably you wanted actually to make uh, a, a standard point uh, to just make a bias-free evaluation process. Let's say like the culture feed and then make a weight on it. And that's a leaker uh, 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 spectrum. So uh, that would be from the one to 10 and nine and 10 is a positive. Probably you know uh, the logic in here. And you can have the sub criteria, anything else like uh, let's say culture feed and then coachability, then flexibility or, or anything you have in your mind, any new criteria. And then you can go with the uh, sub criteria scoring. So that means that when you have the criteria and sub criteria, each of them can get different scoring. Uh, and do you want it actually to add the uh, scale to be required or, or that, that would be optional. So people actually can leave it blank or they have to just put something on it. Uh, that would be the same scenario for the review. And uh, still smooth is that, uh, do you want it actually uh, to just make it confidential, the result part uh, to just be available for the author uh, on the admin or no, uh, which is actually public. And you can make it as a template. So here we go. Now we have it all in here. If you wanted to delete anyone, you can delete it in anyone and design another. The last part. So the last part is that uh, to publish the job. Uh, so the first one, if you wanted actually to just publish and, and to be publishing your pipeline, uh, firstly, you need to actually to choose either to be published on your company carrier page or internal announcement board. And once you have done it, you can see actually the Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn is just uh, 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 activated in here because they, they use the link of uh, your carrier page. You can go with the master free, you can go with the Google to print it out, or you can go with the paid ones. And the number of the job boards is adding up, probably the next batch would be indoor and glass or something around that. Um, that's actually, uh, those are the, the most popular ones. So here is the pipeline you have printed out. You can see the publish, you have the draft, you have the archive. Uh, so you can go to the candidates when the candidates are in your pipeline. So you can see uh, each one, you can change the orders. You can move it actually around by drag and drop. You see the number is changing, but the most important part in here is that you need to tap into the steps in here to get more little deeper. Although again, you have your steps in your pipeline in here, but now you have the candidates, you have the candidates profile. If they have uploaded your resume, any cover letter. And then you can design the tags. And one thing, which is the AI candidate matching, it uh, matches the job description uh, with the uh, candidate's profile. 
uh, and break it down into the eight categories. So one thing probably people can misunderstood is that the total match number, the total match number means the total uh, AI matching number with the job description and the candidate's profile. Uh, another point, you can directly go to the candidate's profile in here. And simply you have a different perspective uh, from the candidate's profile. Uh, any scores or review a candidates have taken, any comments or notes you wanted to leave in here, but basically you have all of them in here. So go to the evaluation, you can go to the score and review and leave the score and that is your evaluation form. So you can open up the evaluation form, whatever you have designed, people can actually like leave the scores, leave anything like the comments, And save it up. Here we go. So now you can see the result. And you can leave your final judgment, whatever. Another point doing here is that you can leave the, the scores. Uh, your your uh, review or comment on the uh, candidates like I like the and then uh, we can submit it and the other people in your team they can come like or dislike it or they reply into it so that would be a great point for collaboration on the recruitment and uh, any uh, in here in the assessment part, any video interview, any action or any assessment you have done it, you can see in here and the status whether to be completed or not. And uh, remember when I said actually you can do the interview calls and voice calls uh, manual. So now you have the choice in here to just uh, copy the link of the interviewer and candidates and send them uh, to them. Uh, Another point in here is that, let's see, like the assessments, if we have done something in here, yeah. So it is like the completed, you can see, but it is completed, but you don't see any score because you didn't leave any scores. So you can say, so the assessment uh, that you have sent it out to the candidate is done or not. So the idea is that just uh, take it as much as possible to a level that uh, we can actually take it uh, 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 data driven. What happened in here? Yeah, so then. And when you have done it, you can see the scores and it directly goes to the scorecards in the next step. And here's a mock interview. Uh, so when the candidates uh, uh, just record the video and the mock interview was that was the, the, uh, the uh, like a step and the automated action when the candidates would go to the machine or with the machine in the interview and the, uh, the, the machine actually asks your questions, record the video, bring it back to you. Let's see an example of that. Uh, describing the challenging situation. Uh, well, we face actually a lot of challenges every day, but uh, yeah, a lot of stories, and you can actually leave, leave the score. And here we go, we have a lot of numbers to play with. We have the email history with the candidates to see we can set in manual events in here and you can send an email to uh, candidates or add up the autonomous actions right directly in here. And uh, then if you wanted to just reject someone, select it, reject it, apply. And then you can see uh, the reason for that. If you wanted actually to write any reason, I see the guy is overqualified and I wanted actually to write something about that. 
like uh, um, not a good fit like that and then done so here we go uh, uh, we have plenty of the options uh, you can uh, again in here change the candidates uh, 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 just by the drag and drop simply or directly you can go to have a deeper like insights in here uh, go through the assessments any automated actions or any automated uh, uh, assessments you have designed for to do it in here and when you like someone you can go through the pipeline in here and imagine when when you have done it for someone you get reached to the the last part which is the hiring And then you can set like a joining date, go for it, and done. Uh, one thing, uh, so now you can go with the onboarding module, but uh, there is one uh, notice in here. Uh, we just, uh, that was uh, probably of Senate. The onboarding uh, module was uh, uh, a beta phase. We got some, uh, we see some uh, uh, buggy things in that. So we just brought it down to just make it better and bring it up again. Uh, and then, and, and, yeah, that's something actually to add. Another one is that when you add uh, people in here, uh, you will see an uh, auto-generated organizational chart. So you can actually use that one as well. So here we go. That was uh, QPay so far. Uh, wait for us. A lot of amazing features are, are, are under development. So every two weeks, which is a sprint, we just release uh, uh, new features and we send you email. Uh, so here that was all I could have probably shared by now. And I'm, I'm all ears actually to learn from you guys. Wonderful. All right, Sumo Lings. Uh, if you have not already, you can go ahead and put your Q&A question in the Q&A box. Um, all right, we're just going to go through the ones that we have received. Shout out to JJ. Um, the emails are, are the emails sent via our own server? Yeah, that was the SMTP I tried to actually to tackle uh, uh, within the walkthrough. Uh, so white label, CNAME, and SMTPs and, uh, uh, are the some of the things which, is, which are actually under the investigation. Uh, of course, we, we will just release them, but that would be a matter of time. I cannot actually make it that, that much of a clear about the timeline, but that these are actually are the part of the plan. Awesome. Um, what branding slash white label options are available? Uh, that was again, the CNA, white label, and SMTP are, are all together. So probably they will just not. So. Awesome. Uh, can applicants keep their profile and be notified of openings in the future? Uh, sorry, but like, can you just like elaborate more on that? I, I couldn't actually like to get the, the point in here. Uh, yeah, um, JJ, if you want to elaborate on the question, you can. I can kind of, I can kind of spitball. Um, can applicants like create a profile that like I guess saves their information and then uh, later? Uh, in the future... Okay. Uh, so one thing about that is that uh, uh, no, uh, they cannot, and that is against <laughs> uh, the, probably the privacy. Uh, mm -hmm. and GDPR right now. Uh, another point is that uh, we've seen it uh, uh, as a barrier for the candidates. So if you just do something like they have to just log in and sign up for your uh, platform and just go with the uh, probably application process, you will see a lot of churn rate in here. So uh, we are against that uh, uh, for now, but we, we are not actually, actually uh, biased about that. If we see a data or, or any information uh, we will do, yeah, we, we will go for it. Cool. Uh, which websites are jobs posted to and will there be others coming? Uh, yeah, I think we just uh, seen it uh, with each other in the walkthrough. Uh, we have the Monster, Google, ZipRecruiter, uh, CV and, 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 and the uh, CVK school. Uh, and and uh, we will see a lot of the other job boards to be, to be added. You have the social media, uh, like the LinkedIn and Twitter to just uh, print it out there. One hack in here is that you have your career page, so you can actually share those URL 
then you want to actually to post uh, a job in the other platforms, which is actually pretty common. Another point, uh, integration is a part of the plan. Uh, so we will get reach into it. Indeed, Glassdoor and LinkedIn are the like on the top. So we will just reach to it. Awesome. Um, can you let us know how the free and paid job posting works? Can, okay. I'm going to go through all of these questions from Claudio right now. Can you let us know how the free and paid job posting works? Can we post unlimited client jobs? And can we recruit using this tool to find candidates to our clients who post jobs on? Got it. That was a great question. So you have no limitation on both of actually paid and on free job boards. Uh, uh, but the point with the job, paid job boards is that you need to go to your uh, uh, job board. Probably you have the profile. Probably you have to charge it uh, in there. And as much as actually you have money in your account there, so you can actually print the job within the queue page. Uh, uh, the another part uh, what, what was that... Uh, what, like uh, the free part, uh, the free uh, uh, job boards, you have no limitation around that. Uh, it takes six to uh, something like 24 hours to print it out, but uh, no limitation. Um, can you tell us more about the mock video option in the assessment? Yeah, mock interview uh, is the like an automation process. And that's a great actually for bias-free uh, shortlisting or if you have a lot of the candidates in your pipeline. Uh, so uh, uh, you want it actually to make like a standard line and also warm up the candidates for the next round, which is like interview rounds. And uh, that's a process where you can ask or you can actually write down your questions. The machine will go to interview with the candidates. They will just ask your, ask your question, uh, record the video, bring it back to you and show it to you. I think we just had the walkthrough into it. So people actually can, can watch it. And also we have the video around that on your uh, Cupid's YouTube channel as well. Another question that I just, I think, I think uh, uh, that was remain and that was like uh, 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 around the, uh, 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 around the, uh, the job boards and, and, and uh, whether uh, we will have uh, different part of the job boards and uh, like uh, whether they can actually source the candidates within the job boards, bring it up to the Q page. Uh, that depends on the job board. So far, uh, the master and the recruiter, they don't have that much of like really AI best based uh, sourcing. So we preferred actually to not uh, touch it. Uh, but of course, like if we just uh, uh, get uh, the integration with the Indeed, Glassdoor and LinkedIn, they have actually that option. So you can actually go with the uh, AI search uh, and, and, and uh, make a string. Another point doing here is that we will launch uh, uh, another amazing feature, which is like uh, a Chrome extension. So you can feed in the candidates whenever actually you go with the stalking, uh, the profiles, either to be GitHub, GitHub uh, and, and, and LinkedIn as well. Awesome. All right. Uh, JJ has a two-parter question that's related to what we're just talking about. Um, first, he asked, are there additional costs that will be added um, for things like branding or anything else? And then he just asked if the mock interview, the mock video interviews and your calls, are those included in the second deal or does that require any subscriptions or accounts? Um, no, when you have actually the code too, you have the access to the mock interview. Uh, uh, for the C names, for the white label, that would be free uh, 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 for the code to an offer. Uh, uh, if actually you will leave a review for us if possible, but by the way, uh, it, uh, you will have it actually for free. Cool. Um, and he wants a follow up on the saving of profiles. Did you say uh, it's not allowed, but maybe it could be considered? Saving the profiles. For uh, the, uh, what we talked about, the profiles of the applicants. Oh, I got it. Uh, you mean actually the sign up process for the applicants within their own website? So, yeah, to like save their profile so that they can apply to other jobs and be alerted of future jobs at the same time. Uh, I think actually that is pretty insecure uh, if we wanted actually to live it, but uh, let's actually let me uh, get to my engineers as well. We have to just uh, uh, think about that, uh, breathe about that. I cannot actually give you a solid uh, answer, but cool. personally, we're not actually that much okay with it. Okay. Well, uh... We'll let y'all think on it. And that's your answer, JJ. I hope, I hope that works. Um, 
I'm sorry, JJ. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> does the applicant's date, does the applicant's application or data be, ex can be exported or synced to an external database? Uh, for now, actually, we don't have the export. Uh, or an API. But of course, that's actually a feature. We will just bring it soon. Uh, that's not actually a lot of, like, it doesn't need a lot of work on it. But uh, yeah, we will just bring it. That, that's something that connect actually, to we, Google yeah. Sheets. <laughs> uh, the connection with the Google Sheet is something probably you can use the Zapier. The Zapier integration will just go live by the February 2021. So you can actually zap it with the like different sources. Cool. All right, Sumo Lings, um, keep putting your questions in the Q and A box. We have just a couple more here to get through. Um, Sorry if I missed it, but does the WordPress plugin work or can we use short codes to get it integrated? Oh, how does the WordPress plugin work? Not just does it work. How does it work? And can we use short codes to get it integrated? Uh, well, we don't have actually uh, uh, the WordPress plugin for now, uh, but we have the easy, easier actually uh, like the hacking here. You can copy the URL the way actually we have done it and paste it in your website, in footer, in header, like join us or jobs or carriers. Cool. And then that's actually like uh, uh, more easier because having actually another plugin, making your website more like foggy and then and like, yeah. Nobody likes a slow website, you know. That's great. Um, can we bulk import our existing applicants? You can bulk import, go to the, your candidates module and, and tap into add the candidates and you can go either to be CSV, uh, uploading the, the candidates with the CSV file or just dropping the uh, PDFs. Cool. Um, can we use API? Is there an API? Uh, the, um, the public API and uh, the documents will also release by the, I think, something around the end of the February 2021. And also the webhook, because that was another question for us, actually, that, that is actually the same process because that's a reverse API. Uh, so, yeah. Cool. Um, I might have missed this, but can I give clients access to candidates I've interviewed in the platform to review them for their role? Yes, you can actually add uh, the clients as a partner. I think we had a, the, uh, the walkthrough around that. Go to your partner module, invite them as a guest. And then when you, when you design actually a new job, creating a job, invite them as the uh, interviewer, uh, someone who just collaborate with you within a pipeline. So they will have the access to the that pipeline and nothing else. Cool. Um, what, ser uh, what country is your server located? Uh, our uh, servers are in Germany and in Finland, just near to ourselves. Fun. Is that where you are? Uh, we are in Estonia, which is like near uh, yeah, the neighbor of the Finland. Did you say Estonia? Yes, Estonia. Wow, I would have thought that was a fake place. That sounds like a magical uh, <laughs> like Christmas holiday rom-com location. Yeah, um, this is like, yeah, you know, Estonia is like, yeah, a, a really a small one and a half million population, but you know, it sounds uh, it sounds lots of action. small it's and magical. House. Uh, for the uh, for the startups, it sounds it sounds wonderful. Um, all right, those are all of the questions. JJ wants you to move your servers outside of Europe, but that sounds hard. Um, <laughs> put it on the roadmap. Um, <laughs> all right, Sumolings, thank you so much for joining us for another product walkthrough. This has been a great time as always. If you have not already, you can redeem your codes at appsumo.com slash QPage. Again, this is starting at $59 for a lifetime deal. And of course, this is backed by AppSumo 60-day guarantee. So you can go ahead, get set up, play around with it, see how it works for you. Um, God bless your cotton socks. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> Once you guys have gotten started with the deal, we do love to read your reviews. Um, so go ahead and leave those on the deal page. And of course, if you have any more questions that you did not get answered here today, you can always leave those on the deal page as well. Thank you so much, Puya, for hanging out with us. It's been a blast. Thank you for indulging us. And thank you actually for having Q page. Uh, please actually, if possible, leave a review for us. And another point, we just launched uh, multiple work spaces. So if you want to actually uh, hurry up and stack the codes for that and, and just unlock the new work space work spaces. And also uh, we have the live chat. We try to actually to be 24 seven to just give the services to the summer links. 
uh, and, and, and also we have the info at signqpd one and, and also we have the help desk. Just uh, uh, try, uh, I mean, like, uh, let us have your feedbacks, let, our, let us have your ideas, and, 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 and we wanted actually to listen from you. Uh, we are actually like the greatest source of information and ideas for us, so let us have it. Thank you. I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.